Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how we can draw this piece in AutoCAD 2021. To make our work much faster and easier, let's put this drawing in our workspace. If you want to move the drawing, just hold the mouse wheel and just drag the drawing. If you want to zoom in or to zoom out the drawing, just scroll the mouse wheel and the magic will happen. But before every single drawing, the units are very important. So type units, press enter, and here you will have a bunch of options. The first one, it will be about the length. So if you are not an architect, I highly recommend to let it in the decimal. Otherwise, it's not a special case. Precision. Usually I work with three decimal and I think it's the best option here. The next step. I am from Europe, so I need to have meters, centimeters and so on. If you are from America, you can go with feet, it's no problem. Here I will let it in centimeter because our drawing is pretty small and I don't need big dimensions. But for example, if you are drawing a house plan, you could go with meters or other examples. So I will let it in centimeters. Angle, I will let it decimal degrees. Precision, I can work with one decimal or no decimals at all. And I will let the clockwise unchecked because I need the trigonometric sense. So I'll press OK and we are ready to go. The first thing that we will do is to build the borders, all these borders, but not through a polyline. We will build it through lines, just simple lines. So with this we will start. We will have here a line of 40 and then a light of 8, 33, 58, 33, 8, 40 and back from the starting point or you could type 74. Before starting, just click on this button and make sure that you have the ortho command active for, for straight lines. Now, the first command, it will be the line command, or you can just write L. And as you see, the line is straight, and now write 40 units. Press enter, go with the right side, press 8, go in the up direction and press 33, 58, Go down 33, 8, 40 again, and back from the starting point. If you cannot find this point actually where it is, press D settings and it will appear an entire menu full of specific points. For example, endpoint, midpoint, center, geometric center, and so on. You should check just that ones that you actually need it, or you can select all of them, it's not a problem. And press OK. Now let's focus on these little striations or those little pockets. And we'll start with the first one. We need a line starting from the middle. So line, and just build a random line. It doesn't matter how long it is. The dimension of this little pocket here is 1.25, in our case, centimeters. So we will construct two parallel lines exactly side by side from the middle. So let's divide by two this dimension and it will be 0 0.625. We will apply the offset command for parallel lines like in previous episodes. So write offset, enter, 0 0.625 for each side. So select it and put it in the left side and now select it again and put it in the right side. Press escape now. The other dimension, the depth, actually it's 2.5 units. So for this one we will apply the same command. Offset 2.5, enter and select this line. And now, because our pocket is complete almost, let's use the trim command. So select the entire drawing almost, press trim, and let's start to delete. This part, this part. And you can delete this line as well. And now we have one pocket complete and as you see here we have one pocket in the middle and we have three on each side. Here we have a distance of 8.75 units if you see. Then the distance of the pocket is 1.25. So the distance from this point until the other point is 10 units as you see. Good. So let's go back to our drawing. We will apply now the copy command, but we will apply in a smart way for our drawing. Select this striation, 
right copy, select a random point, it doesn't matter where, and as you see here, I am able to copy it, but make sure you have the ortho command active and press 10 units. And now to be sure, let's measure it. I'll write the measure geom, enter, and I will select from this menu distance. So I'll press just D. Let's select this point and the other point. 8.75, it's perfect. Good, now we have here another two striations. So I will select this drawing. I'll press copy command again and I will select a reference point. In our case, this one it would be. And just copy it for two times. Now let's copy them in the other side as well. Also free pockets. So I will apply the mirror command because it's identical. So mirror, select these three striations, enter. Make sure you have the ortho command active. And let's say I will pick this point because it's the middle. Delete the original object or erase source object, no. And I have all those striations now. Trim. Escape. And here we are. For the final step, we see here that we have four little arches, each of one with radius 5. So we will apply the same command, fillet, air from radius and 5. Select the line, select the other line. And we have an uh, arch of 5. Good, but for example, in this case or in the previous case, if you have many arches, just go with the same command but we will apply instead of radius we will apply multiple so fillet and now we'll apply m from multiple and it will be memorized the last radius that we wrote so this one this one and in this way we can gain a lot of speed and our drawing now it's complete i hope this video helped you as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.